not good. Um, I know I'm short, but uh, I thought VR would at least be. Uh, oh dear. Let's have a look. No, that's not going to work. Okay. Um, let me try readjusting the camera. Maybe a booster seat. Well, let's go see what booster seat we can get off eBay. Um. Oh, oh. Oh, I like that one. Mm. Oh, that's the one. Look at that. Yeah, that's the one. What up guys, it's your boy Push to Start. And hopefully from that intro you would have not only gathered that I'm incredibly short. Um, probably something to do with aerodynamics and less wind resistance. But I've come to the conclusion that GT Sport is rather sizest. So as you saw, um, jokingly we did get a booster seat from eBay. Um, sadly I couldn't get it in yellow, my favourite colour. But I did go in red, so... Hopefully that will contrast the yellow paint of the Ford GT. Anyway, as you saw from the intro, well, from my midget point of view, I've actually upped the ante and I've now got myself a VR headset. Uh, so word of caution if you are looking to get a VR headset, um, just take it easy, as uh, to my surprise, I actually got motion sickness, which is always fun. Now as you can see guys, we're again at Le Mans, following on our last Legends upload. This time we'll be running the 1967 Mark IV Ford GT40. In 1967, the Mark IV outqualified the closest rival's Ferrari by four seconds. The driver to set this margin was none other than the previous year's winner, Bruce McLaren. Even though I think we all know it was really Ken Miles that won the 66 Le Mans. So the Legends lap time we're aiming for today is an astonishing 3 minutes 24 seconds point four. This time is a staggering 6.2 seconds quicker than the 66 Ford GT40 and this lap time is really going to be tough to beat. So I guess there's nothing left to do guys, but clip those apexes like they're and see if we can beat the legendary lap time set at the 1967 Le Mans by Bruce McLaren.
So hopefully you enjoyed that virtual reality lab guys. Um, to be fair, I do think that that's what my videos have been missing. It's just our next step in added realism. I will say that that was a bloody tough lap to put together. I didn't actually expect to beat uh, Bruce McLaren's time, and I most definitely wouldn't have if it wasn't for the booster seat that we bought at the start of the video. So whilst I was recovering from my motion sickness and editing the video, I didn't actually realise when I was recording that the capture card will literally record the motion from the camera. So I thought it would record what you're seeing, but it's actually not which is why it was all shaky. So I'll just switch to another recording, which you can see was like 12 hours later. So as you can see on screen, guys, we actually managed to beat Bruce McLaren's qualifying lap time by, if this is correct, 0 0.10, which is 10 thousandths of a second. If that is wrong, uh, just let me know in the comment section, guys, so for future reference, I can use the correct terminology. And that is actually the smallest margin we've beat a lap time by so far. As with our previous Legends video, guys, what I'll do is I'll let the setup play through and what you can do is pause it so then you can have this set up and then try and beat mine and Bruce's lap type. If you do guys just let me know in the comment section because that's always going to be awesome uh, if you if you manage to beat that lap time because it was it was a really tough lap time to beat to be fair but as Michael once said records are made to be broken. So as we're approaching the end of our video guys as always there's nothing left to do but thank you guys again for the continued support the likes the views the comments they all really help and grow the channel and if you did like this particular video guys hit that like button drop me a comment subscribe if you haven't already and if you haven't please hit that bell so you are notified on the next upload as always guys you know the drill peace out and i'll see you on the next one